This is antimony. It's a weird element that has the surprising property to detonate. It looks like a shiny metal, but it's actually shit at conducting electricity and heat. That's why it's classified as a metalloid instead. Anyway, in this video I'm gonna show you my attempt at making this explosive allotrope, starting with normal looking antimony. To start we're gonna make antimony trichloride from antimony. The ingredients we need are some antimony, some hydrochloric acid, and some hydrogen peroxide. I start by taking my antimony jar and measure more or less 10 grams of it. Then I put it in my mortar and grind it into a pretty fine powder. Make sure to not breathe in the antimony if it gets airborne because it's pretty toxic. Thankfully though, antimony is pretty dense and so it doesn't really go much in the air. When the antimony was well grinded, I used this brush to get everything in this 500ml round flask. As a second reagent, I measured approximately 100 ml of 22% hydrochloric acid in the beaker, which I then added to the antimony in the flask. To carry the reaction, I added a condenser to make this a reflux setup. The idea is that the reaction of antimony in hydrochloric acid is pretty slow at room temperature. So to avoid it taking days, the solution will get heated until boiling and so it should only take a few hours. The vapors will get condensed by the cold water and so stays in the solution. Another tip to make the reaction faster is to use hydrogen peroxide. Here I put a few drops from the top of the condenser and you will observe a change in color from grey to kind of yellowish. I don't really know why it changes color but the color fades away when there is no hydrogen peroxide left and so it's a pretty good indicator. You can tell when the reaction will be finished because there will be no solid antimony left and the solution will stay yellow after adding the hydrogen peroxide. I let the solution cool down to room temperature and then filtered it because there was some dark bits in it. Like so. It's probably an impurity from the antimony metal, but it doesn't really matter because I filtered it. For the second step, we're now gonna take this antimony trichloride solution and pass some current through it. As you can see, I have this setup with some copper sheet as the cathode and a block of normal antimony as the anode. I did this setup according to literature and this random paper. As you can see, there is a beautiful graph which says if you are making the explosive allotrope or not, depending on your conditions. So I decided to first not treat it and try without. I use a pretty high current density which formed those dendrites, but as I said, because I didn't follow the paper first, it was not the explosive allotrope. So finally, I tried again with a bigger copper sheet and less current according to the paper. I passed current through it for like 2-3 to three hours and this is the result. Again some weird dendrites but much more shiny and of a somewhat different form. So I tested them with the blowtorch to see if they would detonate at least a little bit. As you can see there are some pops here and there but it's quite minimal. So I think I did make some but only a tiny amount mixed with the normal stuff. I don't really know what I did wrong because I followed the graph but I guess it's still a partial success. Alright so that's it for this short video, I'll see you next time for the Pecloid production from Table Salt video.